Good morning, bloggers, followers, and vloggers. It's another great Sunday here. Um, today, I want to talk about echolalia, and I learned about it. I didn't never know what it was, and it's common in the autism spectrum. I, I'm, I'm really realizing that now. And uh, I was reading a book that I had picked up at a thrift shop last weekend. Uh, it was called 10 Things That Every Autistic Child Wants You to Know. And I'm going to do a review of it today on uh, my, my blog. But um, regardless, um, I, I never knew what echolalia was until somebody told, until I read this book and how it's associated with gestalt learners. And I didn't know what that was either, but, I, but I, I'm slowly learning, you know, about myself. And I think it's good sometimes to learn about yourself at the age of 35 when you're more mature and you're learning how to grow out of the world. And that's part of the reason why I, I started my blog uh, about a couple years ago. So regardless, um, I have some notes here on echolalia. And what it is defined as uh, is the meaningless repetition of another person's spoken words as a symptom of a psyche, uh, psych, uh, a psych, a psycho, um, psychotic disorder. Now, I wouldn't say it's a psychotic disorder, but uh, personally, I didn't realize what it was until now. But I do it a lot, and I didn't know that until just now. Like I do repeat other people's words. Um, I still do it. Thirty-five. Uh, does that make me less of a person? No, it does not. But. Um, I think it's, you know, something that needs to be, that is brought my, to my attention now that I've read about it. And, you know, I, I, you know, I do say things a lot of times that other people say, including family members, audio, video, and we'll spe specifically get into that here. But, um, you know, I think that that is brought to my attention, brought attention to that late, you know, that that does happen and it does occur, um. So it can, the simple phrase is, it was a, a example, a certain example that I pulled off the internet is when, when a parent asks a child, do they want a cookie? And they say cookie. That's basically what it is. But it sometimes it can be the precise uh, repetition and the echoing of a sound. And I can relate to that because um, even though some say it's not true, um, my my dear belated grandfather, I sometimes say a lot of things that he says that he said in the in his past uh, before he's no longer with us, and uh, you know I would echo those things in the way he would say them, or you know um, things that he would say, or you know things like that. So that's the echoing of sounds. It does help with speech therapy, which I thought was quite interesting. And it may have, I, I don't know if they've discovered it, you know, as early as the 90s when I was in speech, or early 2000s when I was in speech therapy, but it would have been interesting. Um, but it, and it is common in toddlers, and that's, you know, just in general. And then once, you know, if, you know, if you don't, I guess if you're, you're neurotypical, I guess it would curb off at the age of three, because that's what it said it did. But it represents a gestalt learning style, and I will get into that maybe another week, you know, about, you know, gestalt learners. Um, that's basically how you learn language, and you piece it together, you put pieces of it. And I believe, I, I believe personally, I am a gestalt learner. Um, so that's good. Um, it can be immediate or delayed. Um, you can immediately do it, or you can just repeat words. Um... There was a song, there's a song that I grew up listening to. I wouldn't say grew up. My sister had kind of a, a, a an obsession over Prince back in the 90s. The or it was known as the artist, formerly known as Prince. And um, he played, we played two songs, Diamonds and Pearls and Cream. To this day, and I've been doing it this week, is the song Cream. Uh, somehow I'm associated with things you wouldn't believe. But, uh, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's I'm in that song and it's, it's repetitive and it's cream, fill my cup, you know, things like that. And I just, it's just been, it's been, it's in my head and I can't get it out. So that's kind of like, you know, and it can be like, you know, it can be one's own speech or media. 
for me, it's and or. It's and, the speech and the media. So I do repeat things that are on the TV sometimes or on the media, you know. And I do repeat people's speech. Um, you know, it does support relationship when, you know, building, you know, social clues together. Like when you're growing and developing, you know, it, you can you can build your social development and, you know, clue um, pieces, things together. You know, and it, it can it can um, serve as a way of communicative purposes, and it does aid self regulation. I have to say, it I do use it to regulate myself either by um, you know playing a playing that song on Amazon Music. You know, I woke up to it this morning. Um, you know, I um, you know I, I do play it sometimes with other things. You know, it it's just, you know, how you look at it. Um, some people do look at it as a bad thing. Some people look at it as a good thing. Um, you know, but in reality, is it really harming anybody? Is it really causing a problem? Now, I'd say if it was just, you know, you're talking to somebody else uh, in a wrong or demeaning or derogatory or swearful way, then yes. But if you're not... And there's no heart in it. So with that, folks, that closes that one. Um, as a reminder, like, follow, and subscribe. Dustin's Dynasty on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube. Have a good week, guys.